this is what mcg said on his podcast about the death of dj somebody that's that's the uh, uh, um, just to say it man <laughs> <laughs> no, no no but really let's let's not beat around the bush man you know rest in peace it's sad oh, bro. Mm-mm. oh Mm-mm. hey Mm-mm. but i still want to smoke weed and chat to my son shows you that there are some people that cannot be touched in the community of south africa there are some places where people cannot talk about other things because why they are afraid this brings my point a lot of south africans have accused zimbabweans of being coward there is your podcaster admitting that they don't want to go there they don't want to talk about this even though julius malema came out and said that this was a hit 48 bullets and we know that DJ Sambud was involved in the tax industry and he was also an owner of IAPAP Lounge. So this kind of a mafia kind of a world is what we see playing out in our politics in Zimbabwe. And that's why you see Zimbabweans are so timid. Because why? They know they can't defend themselves. If one is going to be kidnapped at their house or something like that, they know they can't defend themselves. So that's why they kind of like stay out of politics. He's trying to protect themselves, just like what McG is doing. So next time you think about criticizing us, remember the same scenario that McG find himself in, where he cannot comment about somebody who is in the same industry, yet South Africa is free.